Hello students, we are going to deal with the 14th chapter, The Struggle for Freedom. Before starting the chapter, I want to make you recall the things. This chapter is correlated with the chapter, The First War of Independence, 1857. That the nationalism was one of the impact of the that uh, war. So here we are going to read about the nationalism. So here, the idea of liberty and fraternity that inspired revolution in Europe and America were also influenced Indian in the second half of the 19th century. The Indian realized that the British rule had, had completely destroyed Indian economy. How it destroyed the Indian economy? You remember that? The Indians were forced, the farmers and the peasants were forced to cultivate the things which were needed in for the England factories and India was the market for the finished good. Okay, the resentment, dissatisfaction against the British rule ultimately led to the development of a spirit of nationalism amongst the Indian. The Indian developed a feeling of oneness and brotherhood and realized that they belong they belong to a same nation, India. Now they wanted to liberate themselves from the from the British rule. The British policy aimed at draining away wealth from India, while the Indian peasants and artisans were subjected to extreme misery and poverty. So, how the drain was there, better the drain away the wealth. So, whatever the drain, uh, the drain of wealth was that the salaries, what the uh, soldiers were getting, the European soldiers were get. I'm sorry, the British soldiers were getting. They were sending the sa sa salaries to where, better to their hometown, England. And plus, whatever the profits were there, they were sent to the England. So this was there. The whatever the incomes was there in India, they used to send it to England. Even even the profits by the selling of the products were sent to England. So this was a drain of wealth, and the wealth was sending out from the country. And here, the Indian peasants and the artisans were subjected to the extreme misery and the poverty. This economic exploitation was a major factor in the growth of the Indian nationalism. Now, British attempt to reform Indian society were also resented by the orthodox sections of the society as they feared that the British would destroy their old age lifestyle. The effort of society, social reforms and their attempt to glorify Indian past awaking the feeling of pride and the patronism especially amongst the educated classes. Moreover, with the introduction of the Western education, the, in, the Indian were also exposed, exposed to the liberal ideas of the West that, West that encouraged people to raise their voice against the oppression. Okay, so here the main was the Western education. Indian, the educated Indians were influenced by the Western education and they wanted the same what is there in the Western countries? The educated Indians were barred from taking up the government, high government positions, even if they have qualified, means they were restricted. They were being braid, means what? They restricted. This uh, antagonized them further. Now, next comes the Indian British. The, the, sorry, the British policy of developing Indian infrastructure such as introduction of the railway and improvement of transportation and communication also brought the Indian people close to each other and helped in the growth of the concept of one nation. Means the infrastructure introduced by or the infrastructure uh, developed by the, uh, by the Britishers, railways and the transportation was also helpful for the growth of nationalism. Okay, the growth of the press and the national lib uh, lib uh, literature also help in the long way to generate and propagate nationalism. Newspaper and the book took the idea of liberty and fraternity to the common mass. The revolt of 1857 was the first manifest, uh, manifestations of a feeling of the nationalism in India. However, the, the revolt not not very organized and hence could be suppressed by the British. After this, the Indian formed in many association of the local level. Ultimately, in 1885, the Indian National Congress was formed. Now here, early political associations. So after this 1857, many associations were formed. Many political associations were formed. Okay, now what were they? The race of the nationalism led to the 
led to the formation of the some political organization all over the country some of them were the british indian association formed in 1851 the bombay presidency association formed in 1852 the purna uh, sarvajanik sabha formed in 1870 the madras Mah- Mah- uh, mahajanam sabha formed in 1884 the indian association formed in 1876 by the surendranath banerjee and ananda mohan bose this association raised their voice against the british policy so after the 1850s not after the 1850s how many before also and after the 1857 many of the association stood and was against the british policy the british passed some acts during acts means what students the law during this period that further intensified the resentment of the indian people the the arms act passed in 1878 during the viceroyalty viceroyalty of the lord lieutenant uh, prevented indian for keeping the arms okay they have to means the according to the arms act the indian have to have the license to keep the arms but this was not applicable for the europeans the vernacular press act in 1878 severely restricted the power of freedom of the newspaper publication in the indian language uh, it started that the it states that the British government had the right to censor any objectionable material in in the newspaper which meant that the newspaper could not print any criticism of the British rule the Albert bill in 1883 provided for the trial of the British or the European prisoner by the Indian and sought equality uh, between uh, British and European judge however the British people strongly opposed by the act and it was amended this act clearly uh, reflected the racial attitude of the of the british okay formation of the indian national congress now uh, the indian national congress was established in bombay in december 1885 as a platform to fo- uh, put forward the grievances of the indian against the british okay 72 delegates from all over the country met here wc banerjee was pre- president of the first session a retired british officer it was uh, alan octavian hume played an important role in bringing indian from the various region together dada bhai noraji noroji firosha mehta Badruddin Tayyab ji Surendranath Banerjee and Ramesh Chandra Dutt were some of the most important leader the chief aim of the congress were prevent uh, present demands of the indian before the british government consolidated the spirit of oneness of the nationalism among indians create public opinion remove the barrier of caste creed and religion amongst the indian thank you